That's what's happening here with the bench press. All this weight that's on the bar is not being held through your structure. Rather, it's all being driven down here into the pad. <laughs> guys coach Ben here bigbenches.com and today I want to share with you how to leverage on the bench press how to actually use the bench press unit to help you press more weight all right now most lifters aren't taking advantage of the bench unit themselves if you're in a commercial gym space those bench pads are very hard they don't have any give you're gonna want a bench with a good cushion there's a lot of things you can add to a commercial gym bench to give it more cushion. Yoga mats, uh, there's some products out there as well, but you're gonna wanna have good cushion to your pad, not just the hard surface, because you're gonna want something to absorb as well when you're benching, all right? We want to shift this weight from being held in our shoulders and our bodies to this weight being held with the bench pad. And we are just that wedging concept in between the two. All right, think of yourself as uh, the car jack, for example. All right, the mass of the car isn't being held up necessarily by the jack. All that force is coming down into the floor, okay, into the ground. That's what's happening here with the bench press. All this weight that's on the bar is not being held through your structure. Rather, it's all being driven down here into the pad. So I'll show you how that looks, okay? So, if you take a look at my shoulders, if I have all this weight on the bar, right, and I try to chase it or I hold it here, I'm holding the weight. I'm holding the weight here. I don't want to be the one holding the weight. I want this weight to sink down and be, I'm just wedged in between this weight and the pad. All this weight is held in the bench pad itself. I'm just keeping my back tight, my arms locked out. So this weight is just kind of loaded onto my bone structure, pushing into the pad. I am just the pillar, the jack, the shelf between the weight and the pad, okay? I'm not trying to lift this weight up and hold it here. That will do immense things for your training, okay? In order to get there, we can't have soft arms. We need to get to lockout and we need to sink our shoulders into this squishy pad. Okay, so the first thing we need to establish when we're benching is a locked out position. So think of it as a tricep extension. That's the first thing if you're getting a handoff, if you're doing it yourself. You want to lock out and then drag out to position. Okay, so three, two, one, you get your handoff, boom, lock out, and then let that weight sink you into the pad. Don't try to start benching until that weight feels loaded into the bench pad itself. So it should be no effort on your part, really, to have this weight held here. All right, you shouldn't be trying to hold the weight. Again, the weight is just loaded into the bench pad itself, and you are creating that shelf for it to sit on. All right, and then the next piece of the puzzle is use your leg drive. Push back to get everything else tight. So you need to have the lower body driven up in order to secure that position, keep everything in the chain tight, and you can just load right down into your back, boom, and wedge. Wedge in between the bench and the weight. So you come down with it, boom, wedge in between the weight and the pad, okay? You are pressing off the pad itself. You're not trying to press into the weight, you're pressing off the pad. Use the pad to create that leverage to help you bench more weight. Coach Ben here. And you know where to find me. You can meet me on a bench. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel over here. Check out the links in the description box below. You can see a video related on this topic right here. And then our latest video right there. Thanks for watching.